Today's reading begins in Numbers, chapter 26, starting in verse 1. After the plague, the Lord spoke to Moses and to Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, by their fathers' houses, all who are able to go out to war in Israel. Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, at Jericho, saying, Take a census, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel. These are those who came out of the land of Egypt, Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanok, the family of the Hanukites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and those who were counted of them were forty-three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. The son of Palu, Eliab. The sons of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are that Dathan and Abiram who were called by the congregation, who rebelled against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they rebelled against the Lord. And the earth opened its mouth, and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died. At the time the fire devoured two hundred and fifty men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the sons of Korah didn't die. The sons of Simeon, after their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the family of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites, of Shaul, the family of the Shaulites. These are the families of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, after their families, of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shuni, the family of the Shunites, of Ozni, the family of the Oznites, of Eri, the family of the Arites, of Arad, the family of the Aradites, of Areli, the family of the Aralites. These are the families of the sons of Gad, according to those who were counted of them, forty thousand and five hundred. The sons of Judah, Ur and Onan. Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Judah after their families were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Perez, the family of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites. The sons of Perez were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah, according to those who were counted of them, seventy-six thousand and five hundred. The sons of Issachar, after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolites, of Puva, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar, according to those who were counted of them, sixty-four thousand and three hundred. The sons of Zebulun, after their families, of Sered, the family of the Seredites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jalil, the family of the Jalilites. These are the families of the Zebulonites, according to those who were counted of them, sixty thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph, after their families, Manasseh and Ephraim. The sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the family of the Machirites, and Machir became the father of Gilead, of Gilead, the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Eazer, the family of the Eazerites, of Helek, the family of the Helekites, and Asriel, the family of the Asrielites, and Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and Shemida, the family of the Shemideites, and Hefer, the family of the Heferites. Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, had no sons, but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. These are the families of Manasseh. Those who were counted of them were fifty-two thousand and seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim, after their families, of Shuthela, the family of the Shuthelahites, of Becher, the family of the Becherites, of Tahan, the family of the Tahanites. These are the sons of Shuthela, of Aaron, the family of the Aaronites, these are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those who were counted of them, thirty-two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph, after their families, the sons of Benjamin, after their families, of Bela, the family of the Belaites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites, of Shephupham, the family of the Shephumites, of Hufam, the family of the Hufamites. The sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, the family of the Ardites, and of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, and those who were counted of them were forty-five thousand and six hundred. 
These are the sons of Dan after their families. Of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those who were counted of them, were 64,400. The sons of Asher after their families. Of Imna, the family of the Imnites. Of Ishvi, the family of the Ishvites. Of Beriah, the family of the Berites. Of the sons of Beriah. Of Haber, the family of the Haberites. Of Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites. The name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those who were counted of them, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali, after their families. Of Jaziel, the family of the Jazielites. Of Guni, the family of the Gunites. Of Jazer, the family of the Jazerites. Of Shilam, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families, and those who were counted of them were 45,400. These are those who were counted of the children of Israel, 601,730. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, beginning in verse 36. There was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with a husband seven years from her virginity, and she had been a widow for about eighty-four years, who didn't depart from the temple, worshipping with fastings and petitions night and day. Coming up at that very hour, she gave thanks to the Lord, and spoke of him to all those who were looking for redemption in Jerusalem. When they had accomplished all things that were according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their own city, Nazareth. The child was growing, and was becoming strong in spirit, being filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. His parents went every year to Jerusalem at the feast of the Passover. When he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast, and when they had fulfilled the days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. Joseph and his mother didn't know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they looked for him amongst their relatives and acquaintances. When they didn't find him, they returned to Jerusalem, looking for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the middle of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. All who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When they saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, "'Son, why have you treated us this way? Behold, your father and I were anxiously looking for you.' He said to them, "'Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I must be in my father's house?' They didn't understand the saying which he spoke to them, and he went down with them and came to Nazareth. He was subject to them, and his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and men. Psalm 60, beginning in verse 1. God, you have rejected us. You have broken us down. You have been angry. Restore us again. You have made the land tremble. You have torn it. Mend its fractures, for it quakes. You have shown your people hard things. You have made us drink the wine that makes us stagger. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. So that your beloved may be delivered, save with your right hand, and answer us. God has spoken from his sanctuary. I will triumph. I will divide Shechem, and measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the defense of my head. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. I will throw my sandal on Edom. I shout in triumph over Philistia. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who has led me to Edom? Haven't you, God, rejected us? You don't go out with our armies, God. Give us help against the adversary, for the help of man is vain. Through God we will do valiantly, for it is he who will tread down our adversaries. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 15. He who is collateral for a stranger will suffer for it, but he who refuses pledges of collateral is secure. 